Hello everyone, this is Candidates Cards on the Table. In today's episode we're going to be discussing proposals related to education. First up is Juliana. Hi everyone, our first candidate proposes working towards inclusive access to quality education from first infancy to third level education, prioritizing the development of transferable skills such as critical thinking, empathy, leadership, autonomy, teamwork and environmental care. Increasing the number of full day schools with an emphasis on developing transferable skills, doubling the number of children who attend full-time schools, and last, implementing a policy of inclusive education in order to prevent bullying and discrimination. Well, one positive thing about these proposals are the emphasis of inclusive education and tolerance, which is very important for the construction of this country. But one negative aspect is that it's not stated in these proposals how this is going to be made. Hello everyone, the second candidate proposals are the following. The first, in first place, guaranteed all the children the, the chance to move from preschool through the end of their schooling. In second place, the training and retraining of teachers will be at the cornerstone of the improvement in equality. Teachers will be rewarded for the tangible efforts. Third place, making institutional reforms so that SENA may focus all its energy on education for the labor force in a way which greatly improves the quality of service. Third place, as well as strengthening the public universities and the, scholar and the scholarship system, ECTEX will be totally restructured as currently is recognized as a source of injustice. And finally, maintaining Ser Pilopaga, but ensuring that it's not the only route for the or that families that has not have enough resources for access to good education. I think that the good part of the candidates is that recognize that all the lowest education they have in the country. But in a negative way, I think the candidate it's not specific with how he thinks that can change the education in our country. Hi everyone, the third candidate proposes making the full school day universal and guaranteeing nutritional quality of the students. Second, improving the quality of preschool education and focusing on the development of cognitive and other abilities. The third, strengthening SENA, continuing Serpilo Paga and reforming ISETEX. Four, a technical qualification in the last three years of education and finally creating training of programs for teachers and educational directors to improve the quality of education. A good thing about it is that the candidate wants to continue Serpilopaga, which is good. And the bad thing is that there is no mention at all of the support of public education, which is worrying. What the fourth candidate proposes is hiring new teaching staff for early learning to guarantee teaching practices are in line with what is needed. He also proposes promoting nurseries and play schools in the evenings and on weekends to guarantee the welfare of children whose mothers and carers need support while they study and work. Also extending the school day to eight hours to allow more time for learning, investigation, creativity, sport and culture helping students to have access to university subjects or technical qualifications during secondary school, offering teachers all the labor rights they require through a specific stage, developing a free higher education system seeking quality and excellence, and moving from Ser Pilo Paga to Ser Joven de Derechos, aiming to give one million more young people the chance of free public higher education, especially those from marginalized sectors. A good thing about these proposals are, is the pledge of quality public education, but a bad thing is that despite the, the idea is well-intentioned, the candidate does not specify where the fundings for the nurseries and play schools in the evening will come from. Hi everyone, our last candidate proposals are first, aiming for universal cover for early education with pri priority for kids from rural ar areas who have lacked state attention. Second, it's getting 500,000 children and young people who are currently outside the education system in schools. The third one is allowing 
350,000 high, high school graduates to access quality education. And the last one is a better health service for teachers and commitment to honor their professions. A good thing is that the candidate speaks about getting 500,000 children into education and 350,000 students into higher education. But a bad thing is that the candidates give no idea about how this will be achieved. Okay, thank you, Claudia. All right, we've heard all of the proposals. Now let's find out who those candidates are. The first candidate was Sergio Fajardo. My candidate is Humberto de la Calle. The third candidate was Ivan Duque. This candidate is Gustavo Petro. Our last candidate is Germán Vargas Lleras. Oh, 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 oh,